What's going on YouTube? Official Keith here and I wanted to show you the first interior mod that I've done to the car since I've installed uh, my dual camera setup which I need to clean those wires up but this is it right here. It's not the radar detector but it's the actual mount. Now you know I gotta go at an angle at this because I'm using my uh, my camera so I do apologize for how this is looking but basically you can see how this mount is going right here now in order to get to this point to get this uh, this all set up you first have to take off uh, this middle housing right here which has two different pieces um, it's kind of hard to see but let me lower the mirror down some so right here you can see where my finger is and I'll try in post to to um, lighten this up a little bit I just know the the light outside is uh, doing this thing but this piece right here had to be removed first there's an inner piece that you have to remove and then there's this outer piece right here that you have to remove so once those pieces are removed um, you've already turn this up some you've already completed a good chunk of the install now I think the hardest part was, and we'll get to it later in the video, but I think for me, the hardest part was getting the actual bracket uh, put on, which um, it's going to be this guy right here. So I think that was probably the hardest part uh, to put on. But basically, once you have that that housing, once you have that um, you know, taken off or whatever, the next thing you want to do is you want to pull out the... Uh, the wiring harness that's in the back of the mirror that actually powers uh, your mirror so you pull that wiring harness out and as you can see in this picture here uh, it, it has a pretty much it has a pretty basic uh, setup for this car this is a, a v6 charger now I believe the v8 chargers um, will have more wires uh, for whatever reason I don't own a v8 charger so I don't know what the extra wires would be for but you know very various things or whatnot so once you pull that harness out you have you have these uh, this wire tap now the wire taps you you know you buy those separately or with the mounting unit or just whatever but the wire taps do just that they tap into the power uh, the mirrors power uh, source so my particular wire tap came with uh, which I'll call standard standard wire tap or standard size wire taps but then it also it was packed packaged with two smaller ones for the Chargers and the Challengers and the Durangos if I'm not mistaken no matter where you get the wire tap you want to go with the smaller ones uh, the smaller ones will easily get into where you need them to go into as far as in the actual tap itself and uh, it's just easy to, to put in so once you put those in when you get ready to put the uh, the wires in, the black will go with the black, and the red's going to go in where you see like a an orange colored, pink colored wire, like it's a two tone colored wire. Um, don't put it in the red slot because it's not going to work. You got to put it in that orange pink uh, wire slot. Uh, once that's put in, while your stuff is out, you want to go ahead and plug in your radar detector, and then you want to test it. And I'm going to stop the video here. And switch over to my phone video so you can see what I'm talking about uh, part of the install and because it's light outside uh, my camera on my phone is trying to focus on everything but this part right here okay first of all this came or my package um, this is what I use right here um, it came with some adapters uh, it came with some adapters so you're gonna have to use these because you're gonna want to use the smaller pins instead of because if I take these off these show larger pins and the larger pins pins fit um, but you want to use the smaller pins uh, to get that in there so to get this off actually there is golly this the light is just horrible right underneath the belly of this there's gonna be a little uh, there's gonna be a little push oh you know what hold on perfect example 
it's going to be just like this. It's going to have like a little push button, not necessarily the size, but it's going to have a push button. You just push on, push in on it and pull it out. Uh, now, once you have that, you basically you want to run the black wire. I'm sorry, folks. This just this thing is not focusing at all. But you want to run the black wire, of course, into the black, and then you want to run the red wire into an orangish, pinkish looking uh, wire, which I don't know if you can even see that, but it's an orangish, orangish, pinkish looking wire. It's hard to say. Once you have that, you want to make sure uh, that you test before you continue mounting. So, um, sorry again, folks. All right, so you want to like you can see here. I am sorry about the shaky cam, but I got the wire connected to this, and then we'll put this in accessory, and it powers right up. Yeah, I know I got all these bands and stuff off. I need to go in the app and fix that. But for right now, oh no, copyright, get out of here. There we go. <laughs> Let me finish this install, and I'll be right back. All right, and that's pretty much it. Uh, once you've tested that you you have power, all you have to do is just uh, screw down the clamps for the mount um, and then adjust the mount the way you want it and then put back on the, the plastic housing and you're all set. And now when I start my car, I'll just hit the run button and put in accessory mode. Everything powers up. And as you can see uh, to the right over there, uh, my camera is, you know, it's powered up as well. I don't have the camera hardwired to the car. I actually use a cigarette lighter adapter, but the cigarette lighter adapter that I use only powers up when the car powers up. But I'm more than likely going to change that to a hardwire uh, to the battery in the back of the car. And speaking of camera, that may be the next uh, mod. We'll see about that. But I just wanted to shoot this video to let you know that you can do this. Uh, the hardest part of this is the muscle memory that you're going to gain getting behind this mirror like it's I don't care if you're big short tall little whatever you're gonna have to position your body to where you can get behind there and get your hands behind there uh, so you can get you know you can take out the uh, the wiretap as well as uh, get your mount set and ready so that'll be good to go there but as always thanks for taking some time out to watch my videos if you like this video go ahead and smash that like button and if you subscribe to the channel Make sure you click on the notification bell so you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Until next time, this is Official Keith. You're now official. We'll see you later.